Today's video is some repairs on my tilt bucket. The issue I get is this fitting here keeps breaking and every time I do, every time I break one of these, it's about a hundred bucks to get it repaired and then uh, every uh, so often when the hose gets too short I have to buy a new hose and that's a couple of hundred bucks um, for the hose that goes up uh, to there, to the quick couplers. So I need to make some sort of bracket that slides over this to protect this. Um, you see I had these D shackles um, drilled through the flange here. And that worked okay. It uh, works okay, but the hose ends up getting torn up here and um, it's just yeah a bit of a pain in the ass really so I may look at uh, some stage uh, trying to reroute um, this uh, pipe um, possibly with a steel pipe and bring it into here and then have a short um, you know or, or or possibly have the elbow here because obviously when this bucket tilts up this flange here uh, pulls in into this groove so having having the hose on the outside is is the the big issue um, now I was in at the suppliers the other day and they were looking to change this layout as well because they were having obviously issues and obviously I've uh, you know, said my piece <laughs> on it, um, and they don't really come to the party as far as any kind of free hoses or anything. It's, I mean, it's really, you know, you know, shit happens. It's not bad operation. It's, you know, you get stuff that falls on the bucket. You get rocks that might get in the way, and just general wear and tear. So. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just one of those things. So having this hose that, that would uh, come out, I mean, I've tried flipping this, this ram over so that the outlet is on this side, and that just, yeah, really doesn't sort of work either. Um, so really, this needs to be uh, shortened up and and or, you know, a, a steel pipe that comes out to here with the, with the connection here. Obviously, when the bu bucket tilts uh, down or up, um, this ram goes down into there uh, and vice versa on the other side so um, yeah it's, one, it's, it's a curly one um, on the bigger buckets uh, they route them through the hitch um, up, 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 up underneath through the hitch and that's not an issue because they've got the room to do it on these smaller buckets I mean this is only 900 wide um, so or you know 30 six inches or whatever 900 mil is um so you know it's uh, you know brilliant bucket and uh i use it daily and i would be stuck without it but these hoses are starting to become an expense and uh i'm sort of getting sick of paying for them so you know i mean there's two hours of of labor more or less to recoup the cost of one of these um so yeah, so we're going to possibly, I don't know, do something that's got to be removable so that I, I can take the hose off if I need to. Um, yeah, it may be a case of something that goes there and brackets down onto here as a support. So maybe possibly a bolt here and a smaller bolt here. I don't know. Um, we'll figure something out. When I get something uh, figured out and fabricated, I'll, uh, I'll bring you back. Okay, cheers. <clears throat> All right, so I've got uh, something figured out here. Um, because I want top, top and bottom. Uh, it's, um, yeah, going to protect better. So I've got this piece here. It'll go under there. Um, I'll have a spacer. Like him so, and then this guy can sit over top, 
and I'll obviously weld up this end. Um, sorry, weld up uh, this end so it's a solid block and it can't really bend. Uh, and then I may just sort of clean clean this up. Um, we'll leave it square. I don't know. I'll see how I go. Um, I may do something heavier on the other side just to help it um, do it. But then to attach it to the bucket, I'll just have um, this. I'll, I'll put a strip in here to beef that up. Um, I'll also obviously weld up in there pretty pretty well. Um, you know, sort of build that up. Uh, and then basically I'll drill through um, and uh, tap it and I'll tap the bucket and or I may just have a nut on the inside, it might be easier. Um, and that'll be the attachment and it won't uh, rock back and forth because it's going to be sat pretty well on the bucket so it's not going to do anything. The only drawback with this is that if I maybe hook something in there, it may rip it out. Um, but, you know, to be fair, I mean, I can't see that happening. I mean, anything can happen on a bucket, but yeah. So, all right, so I'll get that uh, all welded up and uh, yeah, we'll come back when I've done that and see how, how she fits. Cool. Still not uh, bolted in, but I'll um, get that bolted through the side. It's uh, easily removable. Take that out. And uh, I mean, she's pretty, pretty rough, but it ain't gonna fall apart. It's actually very solid as well. It doesn't rock or anything. So once I get a bolt through here. Uh, will be really good so I'll uh, go ahead and do that and uh, I might put the bolt more towards this end because there's a bit more meat there um, yeah that should be fine um, I was going to put another piece coming out uh, here like along here as a L bracket support but I mean Jeez, if I'm going to hit anything hard enough with that, it's going to shear the bolt, if anything, and that'll just fall off, so, um, yeah, so, I've got another one of those to make, um, it started off as a bit of, uh, square, uh, square tubing that I had, and that fits nice, I'm, I'm really happy with that, so, we'll get a bolt through there, paint it up, and, uh, I'll go and whack something with it, I suppose. No, no, we won't do that. We'll just wait till uh, that happens naturally, because it will happen. <coughs> so there it is, all finished and painted. And paint won't last long, but it's all good. So I'll wrap this uh, back under uh, under the hose, but I mean. Just in there is the, uh, yeah, the coupling like on this side. So compared to that, to that, I think we're um, going to be good. And it's really solid, actually. I, I don't even think if I whacked it with a rock or something, it's certainly going to hold up to that. So, so that's cool. I'll uh, make one for the other side. And um, yeah, we'll have a look at that when we're done. All right, and there's number two, the right hand side, so or left hand side, depending which way you're facing. But uh, that's nice. That fits fits really well. I think it's uh, nice and solid, and uh, certainly won't bend in a hurry. So that'll uh, I'll drill and tap that and paint it up, and that'll be about us. So. A little bit larger than the other side because this hose sits a little bit different in the ram. So, um, so you can see that side. I mean, they're really similar. It's just that this one's a little bit higher. Um, 
but uh, it'll protect all the same. All right. Oh, well, thanks for watching, and uh, I've got another engineering project coming up soon, which I'm gonna uh, do quite a few videos on. It's going to be fairly involved, so keep an eye out for that. All right. See you later. Thanks.